Hi, my name is Eric Worrell, and in this Pelican water review video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the things you should know as far as some of the hidden costs that can come up with this service, and also the hidden cost of if you don't purchase direct, how you can be paying more, and we're gonna be talking about all of that in this video. I'm gonna to get to that right now. So what I have open on the screen right now is showing the Pelican water system for the premium whole house water filter system. Uh, you can see the Pelican model here, PC600 versus PC1000. Uh, the first thing that I wanna make sure that you're not gonna overpay for this product uh, is if you find this in other places on the web, it might be called something completely different, even though it's the same darn thing. So notice that the pricing here is $770. It's a sale price. Um, what they do is they always have constant like sales going on that'll pop up at the top of the screen right now it's 10% off or 30% off uh, so uh, on the Pelican water site if you go to Walmart one of their uh, distribution partners uh, you can see this and it's called a 10 GPM whole house carbon water filtration system now if you're looking at the pictures back and forth I mean it looks pretty pretty similar right but this one is called one to three bathrooms or four to six and then it's also got the Pelican model number well if you actually drill down into what this is actually selling you can see that this system is the PC 600 so the it kind of begs the question a why don't they call it that and then where are they getting this 10 gallon per minute uh, that's what the GPM stands for a uh, number so what I did is I live chatted with Pelican water systems they have live chat here trying to understand where that comes from and you can actually see that there are specs. There's an owner's manual here, which I'll open up in a new tab to show you where that 10 GPM that Walmart is advertising comes from. Because I see this on Amazon as well. Um, or actually, Amazon just calls it the same thing, the one to three bathrooms. But again, they're giving you a price of $855. If you go direct through Pelican, that same product is $770. So, Looking at their actual uh, specifications document, what they told me on live chat is the way they get that is they take the rated service flow rate and the peak flow rate and take the average of the two. So you can see that the peak flow rate of the PC600 is 12 GPM. The rated service flow rate is 8 GPM. You take the middle number of those two and that gives you 10. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about is uh, if you do live chat with them, they can give you information about the water quality in your area. But I wanted to give you a link of a pretty cool website that you can check out uh, for your area. It's called e wg.org forward slash tap water. So what I did is I put in my tap water here based on zip code and you need to look at your actual utility service. So I think I still got it open in the background. Yeah, here is my utility service. Um, it's ECWA. Uh, this is important for a couple reasons to look at uh, because you're going to want to look at what your utility service is that you're actually using, but also what is your gallon usage? If you look in my particular case, and we'll get back to this on why this is important, I have 9,000 for gallon usage and I'm using ECWA. So using this ewg.org, and I'll link to all the resources I'm mentioning in this video below, um, I can go on here and see how many contaminants are detected above health guidelines. So in my particular case, there's nine, and you can see that most of them are relating to cancer, actually all nine of them. And you can kind of get an idea of like, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna try this one. Bromodichlorophenone <laughs> is way over, right? 10.3 compared to what the national and state averages are. So for whatever reason, uh, this is formed when chlorine or other disinfectants are used to treat drinking water. That's really high in our area. Uh, and you can do the same thing in your area to see what is kind of high. So again, I'll, I'll link to this so you can check out your area uh, to see uh, what you're getting. If you're obviously using well water, it's not gonna show up necessarily in the data here uh, because this is looking at the uh, water providers, right? So your well water is gonna all depend on what water looks like in your area. Another tip that I wanna give you is when you're looking at these systems, like say per say this one, right? You can see the specs and product information uh, it's saying that your sediment pre-filter is every six to nine months. Well, that range is because it's going to be based on how much you're using your uh, particular product. So in my case, uh, it says the capacity for this is 600,000 gallons. It's talking about the lifetime, right? So you can see here beneath there, it's saying every five years or 650,885 gallons that the tank, which is also known as media, I don't know where they get that name from, needs to be replaced. Well, the thing that's interesting, if we're going back, you can recall that I'm only using 9,000 gallons of water every three months. 
So in my particular case, I'm using roughly 36,000 gallons of water a year. So if you were to extrapolate that out over five years, you'd probably be looking right around 200,000 gallons of water that I'm using every five years. So in my particular case, my water usage is pretty low. So what I can do from that is that I might be able to stretch this tank to six or seven years, and I might be able to take a sediment pre-filter and stretch that to every six to nine months. So that's gonna affect your cost. What you wanna do is look up your water bill and figure out how many gallons of water you're using because that may affect your pricing or how often you need to replace things. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I do have the sediment filters and accessories here. You can see you can get a four pack of the 10 inch sediment filters and O-rings. Uh, this is five micron, uh, that's 67.50, so not that expensive really. They're priced there, you're gonna be paying roughly what like 16 17 bucks a filter if you buy a four pack now if you go back to um i like the way that the walmart site kind of shows the images here uh this is what you're actually replacing is the filters every six to nine months you're going to screw that blue part off and then if you're looking at the actual replacement filters you can see kind of what they look like right there you're just dropping those in with a new o-ring uh and that's what needs to be replaced every six to nine months is that piece right there but if you're looking at the actual tank the media that's what needs to be replaced every five years but again it's going to depend on how much your uh, how much water you're actually using so a couple other things that i wanted to kind of tackle here and we can take a look at those right now if you scroll back down uh, to the bottom of this i thought this was interesting it talks about the performance guarantee it says it's guaranteed to reduce chlorine and chlorine below minimum detection levels uh, mdl for five years or 650,000 gallons or in case of getting the larger one 1.3 million so your guarantee is only going to last for five years uh, but again as far as that 650,000 gallons uh, no problem in my area here so one other thing i want to kind of talk about is what are some of the uh, specs on this as far as like what makes the one to three bathroom versus the four to six bathroom also called the pc 1000 and pc 600 different again you need to go back to the specs here so if you take a look at product operations and specifications one of the things you'll notice is that the only thing that's different is the flow rate between these two items so the uh, pc 600 has again that 10 gpm average where the pc 1000 has the 14 gpm average uh, it won't actually affect your working pressure uh, your minimum and maximum working pressure are going to be the same but the reason that you're going to have uh, the pc 1000 is if you have like four to six bathrooms like it's talking about you've got a nice house by the way uh you're going to be using uh those at the same time potentially or just going through your media faster so that you're going to have to replace things quicker but what i would recommend in your case is really look like it doesn't matter how many bathrooms you have it had it matters how much you're using them so go back to your uh, quarterly statements and you might want to go through a few of these uh, and then look at your gallon usage and then figure out what you're actually using uh, for water and then make the determination on what is the best purchase for you uh, based on that. So the last thing I want to mention is I do have a link to the Pelican Water System uh, Direct website uh, in the description below. If you use my link, I'll get a, a small affiliate commission, but it'll still be the same price to you. And I encourage you, like check out the price pricing on Amazon or Walmart, you'll probably see that it's actually more expensive if you're not going directly through my link that I have in the description below. And then also I'll have a link as well for the EWG website where you can test to see what your tap water database looks like in your area as well. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up and comment below with any questions you may have as I am going to be purchasing one of these myself. And I hope to do a follow-up uh, video showing you how to install and uh, how the uh, service itself works. All right, take care and good luck.